welcome back to Star the Storeroom. So I hope you've all had a great Christmas. Uh, I've got some new bits and pieces of equipment for you to see in the future, so we'll be looking into those shortly. So today we've got a video on a mannequin from uh, Afghanistan and Iraq looking at US soldiers' equipment. So personal equipment, body armour, helmets, weapons. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so just before we start, I should also say that we've got a little bit of help today from Sean. Hello there. Okay, so this is the guy we're going to be looking at today. So we're going to be looking at each piece of equipment. So let's do this. Okay, so the first piece of equipment we're going to be looking at today is the ACH helmet, which is the Advanced Combat Helmet. So this was a helmet that was introduced in the early 2000s, uh, which replaced the uh, older 1980s uh, Pazgat helmet. So it looks similar in design to that helmet, however, you'll notice uh, the rim, the big rim on the front of the Pazgit has been removed for this helmet. And you'll also notice it's in um, a uh, very um, controversial camouflage pattern, which is called UCP, which is Universal Camouflage Pattern. Um, so it's a much more lightweight helmet, it's got um, a few features um, which the Pazgat didn't have as standard, like a three-point or four-point chin strap, uh, helmet ret uh, retention straps. It's got um, a mount um, screwed into it um, for the knots, as you can see there. Um, and it's got it's still got the cat size like the uh, with the helmet band, like the older helmet, like the older Pazgat. So yeah, it's an all around good helmet. It's a helmet still used today, however, they are trying to replace it with a slightly more modernized helmet, but it's basically the same helmet. So yeah, decent helmet. So as mentioned before, we have the UCP, which is a very controversial camo because it, the camo didn't go well with the environment. Over here, you have the US flag patch. Uh, you'll, met, you'll notice that the stars are on the right side instead of the left. The reason behind that is because the Americans never like to see them in retreat, they always like to advance. And over here you have the 1st Cavalry Division patch as well. So in Afghanistan, the coalition forces all wear this patch. It's the ISAF patch, which is the International Security Assistance Force, not IC Americans fighting patch. Okay, so the body armour he's wearing is uh, IBA, which is Interceptor Body Armour. Now, this is a development of the earlier Woodland one that was introduced in the early 2000s. So this was introduced around the mid 2000s. Uh, and the difference is obviously change of camo pattern into UCP and also more of these molly loops to attach um, equipment higher up and also the addition of velcro to attach patches uh, so you can see there's a few uh, pouches attached uh, so we've got a grenade and the ordinary magazine pouches and also a uh, first aid pouch uh, so yeah very various bits and pieces okay so another piece of equipment he's wearing is the UCP camelback um, pretty much know what a camelback is. You take off the lid, pour water in, should sit through a straw, you've got enough water to last you pretty much the whole day. So the gloves he's wearing are green Nomex gloves. So uh, these were originally intended for pilots, but um, soldiers, tank crews and various other parts of the US military would also wear these as they are somewhat fire resistant. So the boots he's wearing are standard issue desert boots. They're a development of the uh, Schwarzkopf boots that were issued in the Gulf War. Uh, they're basically just a desertized jungle boot. Uh, they're quite comfortable, uh, quite long lasting. So um, they're actually quite good just for um, everyday use. So all round decent boots. Okay, so these are some of the weapons used by uh, various parts of the US military uh, during these conflicts. However, the A2 was um, near the end of its service life by the mid 2000s and um, being replaced with more modern weapons like the m4 and the a4 m16 so we'll be looking at all these weapons uh, separately in a future video okay so that's the end of the video anyway so i hope you've enjoyed um we've got plenty of content on the way in the new year so i hope to see you then and if you can't wait until then uh maybe check out sean's channel which he'll tell you about yep my channel is Storm Jedi 98 uh, If you like anything Star Wars or gaming related, I play a lot of Call of Duty or Battlefield, uh, please check my channel out. It'll be in the description down below. I'll see you on the next one.